Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Blake. I'm a fashion beauty lifestyle vlogger over on Instagram. And if you are not new here, hi, hello, I love you, I missed you. All right, so as you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing our May favorites. The fact that it's already almost June, I'm like, I don't even know how to act right now, but the elephant in the room, I said I was gonna do these every month in March and then April, I just like didn't do it. The reason is I went to Stagecoach, I lost my vo voice for like two weeks and then I felt like it was too late. So we're doing our May and because we didn't do April, I was like, Ugh. We have a lot of beauty products. I've been trying so many beauty products and unfortunately for my wallet, they have not disappointed me. Um, so I've kept almost all of them. So I'm gonna tell you guys my absolute favorites. So this is kind of like an April and May favorites. Um, and so we have some beauty, we have lifestyle, fashion, hair, and just like a few other random ones. So let's just jump right into it. I think I'm just gonna start with the category that I have the least in, and that is kind of like home. I really only have this one candle from Target. I have them in both sizes that they sell, and this is the Studio McGee Masala Rose Scented Candle. This one is $15, and this one I believe is $25, oh, $20. This smells like, Oh, like Byredo or something. It is such a luxury candle scent and I I need to buy like a hundred more of these because I burn them all the time in the house. The house smells so good. We just had people over last week and everyone that came in was like, oh my God, what is that scent? And I was like, it's these Target candles. So definitely, and they're also so cute. Like look at the aesthetics of it. Adorable, love. All right, if you are on social media a lot, like I am, you have to know that Charlotte Tilbury is taking over the world. Not that she wasn't before, but I feel like she's like the major it girl right now. And I have so many of her products that I love. So I'm gonna share some of my favorites with you. Um, okay, my absolute number one is the Hollywood Flaw Flawless. I said flawless. The Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, this is my third tube. I always use shade three, but I did decide to pick up shade four this time around. Honestly, there's really not much of a difference. Um, you can use this as a highlighter. You can use this as a primer. You can use this as foundation. I typically only use it as the primer and the highlighter. Um, the foundation, it doesn't really give much coverage and it's super, super shiny. So typically what I do is I just put this all over my face all over and then I bounce it in with a little beauty blender and then I go in with my foundation over top and it really just gives that like glow from within. I'm not kidding when I say that every time I forget to use this, like it's just not like by me and then I start putting my foundation on and I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to put it on. My makeup doesn't look as good as when I have this on. So this is like an absolute must, must, must. This is like my number one holy grail from her. And then I've also been using the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm in shade five. I love this. It is a thicker foundation. Um, so I like to mix it with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is a pricey combo. If you don't have if you don't have the means to like go and spend all of the money on the, this two, these two for the combo, you absolutely do not need to. But if you are looking for a foundation combination, I'm a combo girl. Like no matter what, like I'm mixing foundations. I just feel like like my skin likes two foundations better than just one. This is actually what I have on my face right now. But if you do want to find a combo, they also Farfetch. Farfetch also sells Giorgio Armani, so get your hands on that if you can as well. This is in the shade 6.5. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit dark. This is why I kind of mix it. I would prefer the shade six. All right, and then another favorite from Charlotte is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Um, I will say that this I think is more so geared towards oily skin because I do like it and I do use it. I literally, this is my second one, but when I use it, like my makeup doesn't go anywhere, but because I'm dry, I feel like I like, like my skin is like sucking it in and it's just like, it's like putting hairspray on your face. Like it's gonna stay, but my skin at the end of the day, like feels really dry. So if you don't want your makeup going anywhere, this is a really good setting spray, but it is a little bit drying 
but I still love it and I use it. So then my last one from Charlotte is of course the Kim KW lipstick. This is a really nice nudie pink. Oh, it's so good. Really creamy, just a really good color. I love it so much. So those are definitely my favorites from what I got on Farfetched. Um, I do have a discount code if you guys are looking to purchase anything from there. I will put um, a link down below and also a wish list. Something that I really like about Farfetch is that like, I was a little bit intimidated at first to shop on Farfetch because they have so many brands that it's like, where do I even start? So something that I love to do is just like weekly, I go on their like most wanted section and it's a curated list of like the 150 pieces that most people are shopping for right now. And it really helps me like narrow down because I know that the entire site can be a little bit intimidating. So definitely utilize that. And I feel like that's like a, something that a lot of other brands and a lot of other websites don't do. So. Thank you Farfetch for doing that. Okay, so then I have a few products that I wanna share that I got from the Sephora sale. I definitely purchased a lot and a few things didn't work for me so I returned them, but these are my standout products that I got and I love. So this is the Say Dew Blush in the shade Rosy. It's definitely a little bit darker than I go with my blush, but I feel like it has been, like this is the only blush that I've been using for the past few weeks and I put a little bit on my nose and my cheeks and then I even put like a tiny little dot on my under eyes and I feel like it just like it gives that rosy sun-kissed glow um my next one that I want to try is the rare beauty I haven't tried that one yet but I feel like this is kind of comparable and I feel like for the amount of product that you actually use with these things like I will not run through this in a year or two which is pretty crazy. And then I also picked up the Say Glowy Superstar Gel. I haven't really been wearing highlighter, but then I was influenced on TikTok and I saw this. And now I'm like, I use this every single day. And I didn't put any highlighter on today because I wanted to show you guys like what it looks like. And I just put it in like a C motion right here. And it just gives that like dewy skin glow and I love it. Obviously, this is my monthly favorites. I'm gonna love everything, but I love it. I need a moment for this lipstick. This is the Dior Addict in the shade 418. I got this like three weeks ago and I have not been able to put it down. I'm gonna insert some pictures and show you guys that when I used this, it made my lips look like I got a full syringe of lip filler. I just put on the Charlotte Tilbury one, so maybe it won't like do the exact same thing, but let me show you the pictures. I think it has something to do with like the shimmer that makes the lips look so big. But every time I wear this, I'm like, damn, it looks like I got lip filler. And if you know anything about me, I love lip filler. And so I've been wearing this to death. Yeah, it's pricey. I'm not going to lie. A lot of the things that I'm talking about are pricey. Um, and I'm sorry about that. I am but they're just my favorites. Um, I honestly, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this because people have been um, reviewing it and like people have been loving it. And I was like, you know what? This is like, I think this is like 30 or so dollars for a lipstick. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't wow me, I'm gonna return it because that's a little bit pricey for a lipstick. Threw that box away in the garbage right when I tried this on and I was like, holy crap. If, if a lipstick can make me feel and look like I got lip filler, like it's game over. All right, so I think that that is all I have for beauty. We're gonna move into kind of like skincare right now. I need a moment of silence for this product. This is the Skin Design London Face Tight Serum. Moment of silence. Guys, I'm gonna have John insert some pictures of my jawline. I actually messaged or I actually texted Michelle the other day and I was like, I feel like I'm manifesting a, jaw, a jawline. It's one of my insecurities and I don't have a very strong jawline. I don't have a strong chin, weak chin, it's fine. But I texted her, I was like, I feel like I'm manifesting a jawline because I have been having a jawline in my recent pictures. And then I remembered that I have been using this Skin Design Face Tight Serum. And the whole, the whole thing about this is that it, 
tightens the jawline and the neck. And so maybe I'm not manifesting it and it's just this. So if you want a tighter neck and a tighter jawline, this is something that you need to put on your list because this has been doing wonders for me. All right, the next product that we're gonna be talking about, I specifically got because we have a lot of travel coming up and I typically don't like to bring like a full eye cream or a full serum with me if I don't have to. So I was looking for more of like on the go travel eye creams and I found this one by Noble Panacea. And to be honest, it came in this packaging, which you're like, it kind of defeats the purpose a little bit, but you open it up and they are these individually packaged little eye creams. So you just take one of these out and it's the perfect amount as well. Um, this one is the Brilliant Vibrant Eye Infusion and I've been using them for the last few days, like when I went to Joshua Tree and then, um, I don't know, I've been really loving it. I feel like it leaves my under eyes super hydrated and I don't know if it's like a placebo effect, but I honestly feel like a few of my fine lines are a little bit less and they're like diminishing a little bit. So I have about 21 left. I think it comes with 30. So I've used nine of them and I have 21 left and that's the perfect amount that I'm going to be bringing to Italy with me. Um, so yeah, these are like so cute and packaged and I just love them so much. So thought that I would mention that as well. I love like little cute travel things. So love. I have a perfume that I wanna share with you. This is Byredo Young Rose. And I smelled this the other day and I was like, I need that. I feel like this would be, don't quote me, but I feel like this is the scent that I'm gonna wear on my wedding day. If you guys don't know, John and I picked a date. We're getting married in basically a year. And I just feel like this rose scent is so feminine and girly. It's not overpowering. It's not too sweet. It almost has like a tiny bit of musk in it. And I think that this is the winner so far, so far. I have a few other contenders, but I really think that I'm gonna be wearing this on my wedding day. And Byredo is such a stunning um, fragrance. I have a few other Byredo scents and they none of them disappoint, but this one I feel like it's just gonna hold like a special place in my heart. All right, I have one hair, well actually two hair products kind of. So the Redken Blondage High Bright Shampoo and Conditioner. I love the darker purple Redken one as well, but I feel like with my extensions, extensions can like stain really easily. And that one is actually dark purple when it comes out, which was really good when I didn't have extensions. I would just like put that all over my hair. I would let that take out the brassiness and like just really brighten up my hair. But I was a little bit nervous to use that on my extensions. So I'm really glad that I found that they have this blondage high bright line because it's not, um, it's not purple. It comes out clear. I don't want to pull it out now, but it comes out clear. So you don't really have to worry about that. And this is also extension safe. So it's really nice. So I've been mixing this with the acidic bonding concentrate line by Redken. And it's literally just like chef's kiss. It is a killer combo. If you have blonde hair and or you're nervous about extensions being purple, um, definitely give these a try because they have been doing wonders for my hair. All right, and then a tool that I've been using recently is from T3. This is their heated edge, and I just love it for days that I don't really want to straighten my hair. I just need it to be a little bit less frizzy. I do have curly hair in the back, so whenever I need to like not straighten my hair, but I need it to be a little bit less like curly in the back. This is what I've been using and it works really well. And I feel like T3 like literally does no wrong with any of their products. Yeah, they are pricey again, I, I know, but they last forever. And I feel like they are way less damaging on your hair than a lot of other less expensive products. So if you are someone who doesn't really like to straighten your hair, but blow drying it just leaves it super frizzy. Definitely check this out. They sell it at, <clears throat> sorry, they sell it at Sephora. I'm pretty sure they sell it at Ulta and then also on T3. So yeah, I also love the color of these. They used to be white, but I love this new like steel gray color. All right, so next up is 
my Billy Razor. Uh, this is like my travel to go case that like I don't really ever unpack. It's just I refill things and I just know that things are gonna be in here that I need when I travel. Um, so basically, if you wanna know what I have in here, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna gatekeep. You know, I have some mirror locks in here, not a big deal. We have some tampons, I have some sunscreen, some vitamins that I refill, and then some liquid IVs. And then I've also just put in my Billy Razor. I love the Billy Razor. I've been using it for about like two months now. And I loved it so much that I had to get a travel one. So she lives in here now. And yeah, if you've been looking for a new razor, one that doesn't give you razor burn or bumps or any of that stuff, check out the Billy Razor. Um, and they're also super affordable and they sell them at Walmart now. I got mine in literally 12 hours. I placed the order at night. It was here the next morning, so love that. All right, so these glasses are by a small business called Assorted Eyewear, and I've been wearing them a lot more recently. They are actually called The Blake, which is super fitting. Anything that's like named my name, I'm like, mm, add to cart. But I love these. They are super sleek. They have a B right here, and they're actually really good quality too. So if you're looking for a new pair of sunglasses, you know, a pair of sunglasses for the summer, maybe grab these ones. They give kind of like, Prada vibes or like Gucci vibes. I really like them. These slides have not had a break since I got them like three weeks ago. They are kind of like Yeezy dupes and they're like a fraction of the cost. I think that they're like around 20 or $30. They are from Bohm. I do have a discount code. It is Blake15 and they're so comfortable. They come in this like bone and then like a light tan color. And I don't know, they're just like, everything to me right now. Okay, another fashion favorite that both I have been loving and you guys have been loving is this navy workout set. It is by Buff Bunny and I can honestly say that this is like probably one of my favorite workout sets that I own right now. This is a size extra small and I believe the top is an extra small as well. Yeah, extra small. I would probably do a small in the top next time, but what I love about these shorts is that they don't have a front seam. I don't know if you can tell, but like they don't have a front seam. So they're just like very smooth in the front, if you know what I mean. And I will insert a picture of me wearing it. And every time I wear it, which is like usually once a week, I get so many DMs about it being like, oh my God, that's the cutest workout set. I'm like, I know. She makes good workout sets. And it's also very size inclusive, which I love. Ooh, I love them so freaking much. These are like a dupe for the Heavy Manners pants, which are, I believe, around $350. And that's just like not in my tax bracket right now. So I saw these on Bohm and I was like, wait, I have to have them. The print is so freaking cute. It's like very tropical and I love the, um, the color as well. It's like this like muted orange. And I'm definitely going to be wearing these so much in Europe because I just feel like they're perfect. They have a wide, leg at the bottom. They're very like straight. They're not very tight. And I got a size small. And again, I do have a discount code. It's Blake15 if you want to twin with me. Okay, we are down to the last item. These white cargos from Abercrombie have been on constant repeat. I swear every time I I'm getting dressed, I'm like, let me just wear the white cargos. I love them. They are a size 26 regular. I did not get the short, even though I normally do get the short. I just wanted these to be a little bit longer, a little bit more baggy. And they remind me so much of the Miami Vice pants by Lioness. They're like super viral. They, have, they come in all of those colors. But I honestly think that these fit me even better than those ones. I love the little pull here and the cool pockets in the back. And yeah, if you have been looking for a pair of white cargo pants or even cargo pants in general, they do have a few other ones um, on their site right now. These again are from Abercrombie and I love them so much. Okay guys, we have made it to the end. I'm gonna do a little honorable mention um, for this coffee because I've been drinking it ever since I started this YouTube video. Um, but if you live in LA, please go to Boy and the Bear, especially if you like like creamy, like sweet-ish coffee. 
please go to Boy and the Bear and get an iced vanilla oat milk latte because they have such good coffee. And every time, like when I was in Joshua Tree, I was like craving it, which doesn't normally happen. So yeah, if you guys made it to the end, thank you so much. I know that this was a little bit long and the price point of this specific video was a little bit higher than my normal ones, but um, I had so many beauty products that I wanted to try and I just loved so many of them, unfortunately. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys don't follow me on here or Instagram, follow me over on there. Um, and yeah, hopefully next month I won't have as many, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.